So we all spend hours and hours of time as customer service professionals looking at the latest customer service research, uh, the latest preference research, channel research. How much time are you spending looking at your employee engagement research? How much do you really understand about what's happening in your organisation and the impact that that's then having on your products and services? And if you think about the four enablers, they absolutely align to your customer service strategy. So that clear strategic narrative, what is your customer service ambition? And is that clearly understood right through your organisation? And is everybody clear on the role that they play? So as David says, when we showed you the picture, a bit tongue in cheek, what did the person put in the white line on the road really understood and really, really live those values that were generated from understanding the customer service strategy? That picture went viral. It was a local authority somewhere up north and cost them a huge amount in terms of managing reputation. So what is your clear strategic customer narrative and is it understood? How much of your customer service strategy is focused on improving the skills of your line managers? Who gets it and who doesn't? So people used to say, we need an engagement survey. And I used to say, why? Well, we need to know who's disengaged. And I said, why don't you go and talk to your people instead? That'll tell you who's engaged or preferably just look at them. Look at their body language. That's normally a given. Normally gives it away. So actually, who gets it and who doesn't? Who are the people paying your customer service strategy lip service? You know those people who sit and nod like that and think to themselves, this mad woman hasn't got a clue, we've done it like that for 20 years and we're just going to carry on. 